will uh, get set up but uh, yeah that's it for now guys but yeah very impressed with the quality and the build so far the way it looks uh, obviously we need to adjust a few things but yeah all right guys just a quick update i uh, don't know if anyone noticed but um, when i put that on the top of there i was trying to figure out um i knew i was a, looking for a bit and i thought hmm motor has to still attach how is the motor going to attach to there couldn't find a bit of tubing look closely in the box and lo and behold tucking in the right hand side in a wee slot is the part that we will need for attaching um, obviously we will adjust this inside here um, this will go inside there but we'll get back to that in a second we'll get it built up um, but we'll we'll do that with you as we're going along show you what what parts you need to adjust and um, we'll get there okay guys we'll just run through again once again um, exactly what you get in the box um, and then we'll do a build video then uh, after that you get the main gimbal which comes pre-assembled for you apart from a few bits you put the bottom plate there you have to add on yourself um, which um, is a problem is uh, as you can see um, again is by DYS and it's uh, named the Eagle Eye camera mount you have then your uh, 360 degree hollow shaft motor which is the 520, 5208 I believe um, please don't correct me if I'm wrong um, you also have on that um, um, the, the, the sh grips for um, holding the centre pipe that attaches onto the, the main gimbal you also have in a packet, uh, it's a slider, um, this um, as we'll show you in the next video um, actually attaches, slides it into the flash compartment uh, on the top of your camera so you can actually um, keep it in place um, you have some small uh, standoffs um, three axis gimbal controller um, thumb screw for going in the top to hold this plate in place I believe and thumb screw for the top of that some more bigger standoffs which I believe are for the top plate um, for attaching to your uh, hexacopter quadcopter um, Unsure what these are for at the moment. They could be spare plate um, hangers, um, but we'll uh, suss that one out. Some obviously some bolts for them. Uh, the cables for your motors. Um, some silver hex torch screws that you can see there. I believe that these are for attaching down the bottom here for your plate, amongst other things. Um, there is some other torx block screw heads and some other ones again which we will go through in the build um, these are the new more stiffer and they do feel a lot more stiffer whether they'll absorb the vibration or not um, we cannot we won't know until we've actually tested them yet but they do feel a lot lot stiffer than the other ones that used to be shipped with uh, the camera gimbals from DOS. I believe after speaking to Yenny that um, these have all now, uh, all the camera gimbals I believe have now changed over to these. Um, also then you will receive uh, inside your plate for attaching your um, obviously your motor to uh, there. Um, and then obviously on from that then up to your uh, your quadcopter one thing that came separate that you won't uh, receive in this package in the box is um, these goodies 
these will come in the handheld. These have been sent to me separately um, and um, we'll make this up in a different build um, and show you then how to attach that onto there so you can actually make it up as one that's going to be carried about rather than going on a quad. Um, quite excited about building this one up. Um, yeah, so we'll get back to that in another build. Okay, right, we'll uh, get this one uploaded and then when I've had time to uh, sort this out we'll uh, get to the build and we'll show you uh, how to put this uh, new camera gimbal from DYS, the Ecoli camera mount, back together again. Thanks guys, bye bye.